Hello and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. My name is Andras. Ma I'm Masha. Today we're going to answer uh, one of the questions related to the uh, topic of spotting scopes and that is how do spotting scopes work? Now the, the answer to, to this question could be quite complex so we're going to make it as simple as possible. Now a spotting, scopes features a, a spotting scope features a series of lenses and a prism system inside and the job of the lenses is to magnify the image while the prisms are used to uh, rotate the image so that we don't see it turned upside down. Yeah. So we basically have lenses here in this part and we have a prism system here and then again lenses in the eyepiece part. Now there is some other terminology associated with the topic, uh, so of how do spotting scopes work and in this debate we're going to cover it, right? Yeah, so spotting scopes basically uh, provide us with magnified image of an object. They are somewhere in between binoculars and telescopes in terms of uh, size. Uh, and because they are usually bigger, we have some exceptions of course, uh, they are usually uh, mounted on a tripod. So to observe, uh, to um, provide us with a steady image. That's right. And um, with a straight spotting scope, we also frequently lean them against something yeah. like a branch yeah, or, or a, a rock or, or a tree yeah. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we have another, um, another word associated with spotting scopes that is magnification. And with the spotting scopes, we usually have variable magnification that starts as low as 12 times and then goes all the way up to even 100 times uh, mm -hmm. for certain for certain spotting scopes. And it, of course, depends on uh, what area you're planning to use it, using it in. Yeah. So moving on to uh, objective lenses, we again have um, different kinds of uh, lenses. So anything from 50 millimeters to even 115. Uh, so we have um, the size of the objective lens determines the brightness of an image. So we have uh, the bigger objective lens and of course with combination with magnification it yeah. determines the so exit pupil. Of course. So bigger the exit pupil the brighter the image. So uh, keep that in mind when you're um, choosing your spotting scope. The exit pupil is basically the diameter of light that comes to your eye. Yeah. And yeah. it's seven millimeters is somewhere the mo where it's uh, Ideal. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, calculated by uh, lens diameter um, divided with the divided, magnification. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So let's move on to coatings. Yeah, the coatings are also really important when it comes to the uh, how spotting scopes work. So we have, uh, we usually come across the term fully multi coated. That is most optics priced, I would say, 150 euros and above. Yeah. Uh, come with this term. This basically means that there are several layers of coatings on all optical surfaces yeah. uh, inside the, the, the spotting scope. And this is really important because they increase the light transmission rate, they improve the image quality, the contrast, and so on. Yeah. Uh, there is also a term called close focus. Yeah, so close focus, it basically determines uh, to at which distance we can observe um, the objects. So, so the, the closest, closest distance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's usually around six meters, usually. Uh, so spotting scopes are not that uh, suitable. Yeah, suitable for observations at closer distances because they have bigger magnifications. They are suitable for observing at longer distances. Uh, for closer observations, I would say uh, go for binoculars or a monocular. Or a monocular. Least, right? yeah, yeah. Another important term is the eye relief. And the eye relief setting is basically um, setting the correct distance from the eyepiece to your eye yeah. so that you can comfortably rest your eye on the eyepiece while observing so that you don't have to hold it somewhere um, when you're not leaning against something. So yeah. it's important to use it so that the comfort is increased. And it's also important for eyeglass yeah, wearers, yeah, right? I just, yeah, yeah. Uh, I tried to mention it. Uh, so the uh, eye relief distance is really important for those who wear glasses, yeah. Because if you are have glasses, you won't be um, putting this out in any of the positions. You'll just simply yeah. leave it like this and then lean the, the, the glasses, glasses directly on. onto the eyepiece, yeah. And not all spotting scopes are suitable for eyeglass wearers. Yeah. Keep that in mind. I think you need at least 14, 15 millimeter yeah, eye somewhere, relief. Yeah. Uh, so that you will be able to comfortably use it with glasses. Yeah. 
So I think Andraj, we covered everything. I think we did. Uh, so if you enjoyed our debate, click like and subscribe to our YouTube, ch YouTube channel and see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.